It's time to get into the Halloween spirit. Welcome to Let's Play Fantastic Night Dreams, Cotton Original. This is a game that came out back in, on the arcade many years ago and was later then ported to a home computer system, the Turbo Graphics, and later the PlayStation. Now, every version of that that it's been ported to has changed little bits and pieces, but I think the PlayStation version, which is specifically labeled Cotton Original, is one of the most loyal versions. And that's the one we're going with today. Also because it lets me save state because I'm bad at shooters. The Cotton series is a series of side-scrolling shooters. Well, I guess not strictly side-scrolling shooters. But it's a series of games starring a tiny witch girl by the name of Cotton. I believe she's described as being pre-teen. And this is the first in a series of games spanning, heck, I don't know, a lot of games. The most recent one was on the Dreamcast. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start up Cotton Original. Okay, so we got options. Let's take a look at them anyway. Uh, there is a normal, or there are different difficulties. I'm just going to stick it on normal because on easy, everything just melts. Um, da, 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 okay, good enough. You've seen them all. Let's go. That'd be depressing as all get out. Just nighttime forever. And didn't give a crap about the Eternal Night. Now, since she loves Willow, Willow is a candy. Now, what's not explained is Willow is actually not just a candy, but an actually very, I guess, a powerful magic thing as well. Okay, so what can you do? Um, you can shoot guys. You can also drop little bombs. Um, when you kill enemies, they'll drop a crystal. Shooting the crystal changes its color. The yellow one acts as experience, raising your experience gauge down there on the bottom. Your experience increases, just makes your shots do more damage. Shoot more shots, do more damage, all that fun stuff. So that's that noise. Um, the blue ones and the red ones will give you blue and red bombs, which I will probably be using at some point, but knowing me, maybe not. Um, you actually use bombs by hitting, by holding down the button to charge up instead of... Oh, I just killed him already. Well, like that. I'm playing on normal, right? I didn't, like, choose easy by accident. Oh, you actually have to keep firing by mashing the buttons that's holding in does your bomb. I feel like they could have just used another button. I got, I got a lot of buttons I'm not using. Now, I do know these little, um, harpies here were actually changed from the arcade version to the PlayStation version. One of few very small changes. They just resembled, they slightly resembled ladies more, whereas here they're more bird-like with lady heads. But honestly, on a sprite that small, it's hard to tell anything, really. I don't like going up near the front of the screen, but... Boss! Oh, really? I'm not playing- no, there's no way. There's no way I'm playing on normal. No, I refuse to believe it. There's no way I'm playing on normal. Hold up. Okay, let's call that a preview of just how quickly things will indeed melt on easy. Um, so let's try this again on normal. I changed it back to normal, I swear I did. Y'all saw me, didn't you? I'm gonna have to check the video. The big skull in the moon back there? That's pretty alright. 
Um, so if it wasn't obvious, the fairies that you get act like, um, options, a la Gradius. So the trail behind you, you can even do stuff with them, like get them to move and get them into position once you get a, um, long enough chain of them. And you can generally get more of them by defeating the... whatever that... I forget what the part that thing is called. It's that head that's, like, friggin' everywhere in Japanese culture, to the point that, like, even Japanese people have gotten really tired of seeing it everywhere. And that's how you, uh, that's how you kill that guy real quick. That's one of the bombs. Uh, that was the red bomb. The blue one is kind of like electricity beam kind of thing. I don't know what happened to pull down the other one. Can we hold down this one? I did something. I don't know what I did. I'm gonna go over here. I'm just gonna let that guy laser laser up everything. I want the I want the I want the things, but I don't want to die. I hate having to get that close to the edge of the screen. I want the things. Oh, if you hold down the attack button very briefly, you will fire uh, very rapidly for just a moment. But then you'll start charging up immediately after that. So you don't want to do it for too long. Um, whoa, there, whoa there, dude. Duder, duder. Yeah, that'll do it. And there, you actually got to see his attack patterns. And then tea time. Um, it's just point collection, so get some points. Tea time. Gotta rest up. Drink some nice tea between stages. And then we found one. Sort of. So um, it's not terribly... I don't think it's... Ex I don't know how well it's explained in the first game. But um, our fairy companion is from, like, the fairy kingdom or whatever, where the willows naturally grow. And um, a lot of what's causing the eternal night is the theft of all of these willows from the fairy kingdom. Now, they grow naturally, but I, I'd be willing to bet they take a little bit of time to grow? Or something? I mean, it can't be that easy. Just to like, hey, here's a bunch of willows. I'm getting tired of your crap, yo. That's why I have safe states. It's like, no, blow up, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. Okay, fine, he's going away. And we freed one! Those guys are just kind of stuck in that tree up there, that's cool. These clouds are sort of horrifying. Give me the points, give me the points! I don't know what the orange one does. If that's like more points, then that's pretty rad. Okay, you gotta shoot this guy in the eyes. And you wreck him. This is one of the benefits of playing, um, or having power-ups, I should say. Uh, when you die, you generally start from where you are. Once. Or until you run out of, like, lives, I guess. Jeez, man. Quit shooting crap at me for, like, two seconds. Oh, that's gone. No, it's not. I mean, you have a couple lives to start right where you left off, but you lose all the power-ups and everything that you have, so that's not cool. And then running out of lives will send you back to the beginning of the stage. Again, with no power-ups. And similar to our type, this puts you in a position where you just eventually just lose. 
Like, you just can't function because you don't have the power-ups you need to get by. And that's where, like, that tree guy melted. Like, completely melted because I've actually got some power-ups. Um, without any power-ups, that guy... Like, you can't even beat him before he times out. Which actually makes the next stage a little more difficult when you're going over top of him, because all the leaves are still on top of the tree, and hide many of the dudes that are up there. So this guy's a little terrifying. Ooh, there you go. Oh, now you're going everywhere. Alright, that's cool. Everywhere. Body parts everywhere. We all like body parts, right? Let's try that again. Now, what you actually have to do here is destroy not only him, but also all of his body parts. I can shoot him in the head, but I'm gonna not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay down here. Try to shoot him in the body. Hopefully leave myself just a little more maneuverability room. Okay, there, we destroyed that. Now it's just me and you. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? That's terrifying. Stop that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can I destroy, like, any any part of you? Either of these parts of you? Okay, that's cool. Can I destroy that little skull? That'd be, that'd be pretty rad. Oh, yeah, I got him, finally. Friggin' heck yeah. Did it! I don't want red, but I'll take it, I guess. Give me them points. Give me them points. And that is stage one and two of Cotton Original. Until next time, everyone, when we go looking for the rest of those willows.